And now more details on our top story. You may soon be able to read the journalists of the Columbine gunmen. The Jefferson County Sheriff announced today that he plans on making public more than 900 pages of evidence seized from the killer's homes. 7 News anchor Mitch Jelniker spoke with the Jeffco Sheriff today. And Mitch, the sheriff is willing to release these documents, but he says he will not release the video and audio tapes. Yeah, yeah, kind of a split decision from the sheriff today. Those 900 pages you talked about, this is how big it would be. That's a lot of reading material. And in it would be the journals of both Harris and Klebold, the diary of Harris's father, even the daytimers of the two boys. Now, remember, the sheriff here was ordered by the state Supreme Court to make a call on what evidence should be released or not. He says the documents are fine, but those videos is a different story. He says those so-called basement tapes of the gunman, well, releasing those could have devastating consequences. When I first saw them, I found them very disturbing. Jefferson County Sheriff Ted Mink says releasing the so-called Harris and Klebold basement tapes would be playing right into the killer's hands. There was no doubt about it that they wanted to be memorialized with the release of these tapes and, and certainly be a martyr, martyr to other individuals thinking about this. The possibility of copycat crimes played heavily in Mink's decision not to release the videos. It was a model for carrying out school shootings. It was very instructional. Mink says the tapes make it clear that Harris and Klebold fed off each other, and those tapes could possibly encourage someone else. If one individual is thinking about this and doesn't have a Harris or Klebold to feed off of, these tapes could be that second person. Mink knows some victims' families had hoped to learn something from the material, but he believes the tapes offer nothing more than a call out to other troubled teens. They even talk about their ghosts coming back after they're gone and being in video games. Now the sheriff told me today he's probably going to second guess himself for some time but he, because he said this decision was so difficult to make and he understands that many families out there won't like his decision. As for any sensitive material in those 900 pages, obviously any references to how to make a bomb, how to carry out an attack, he says, would be deleted before they're released. Eh? Now Mitch, so what's next then? When could we actually see this material? Well, of course, we've got to give the Klebold and Harris family time, 20 days to be exact, to respond to this legally. Remember, they don't want any of this stuff released. There's also this uh, whole situation with the video. Remember, the Denver Post first started to get this whole thing rolling by filing a lawsuit saying they want to see all the evidence. They could, in theory, come back and say, look, we don't like the sheriff's decision. We want to see those videos. So both of these things could foul this up. We'll have this all shaken out in the next oh, 14 days or so. All right. We know you'll stay on top of it. Thank you, Mitch.